this week <laughs> we're gonna show you how we fix the leak we found last week on our boat so <laughs> let's get started i'm roberta and i'm duca and for the past year we have been building our own tiny shipping container house so we can travel around knowing that we will always have this little place that we can call home but guess what we just found our dream project before we expected this abandoned sailboat so we are going to stop building the house for a couple months to bring our boat back to life and then we're going to go back and finish the house Are you ready for this? We're not sure if this goes through. Sorry for the noise because they're just sending the next boat. There's nothing we can do because we need to do this today and they're not gonna stop right now. So we're not sure if this screw is passing through the deck or if it's welded to the deck. That's gonna be the surprise today because that's gonna make a huge difference for us. weird thing is, it doesn't seem like the leaks here, so the other chance is that's worse is that the pipe that goes from here to the chain locker might have a leak, and if that's true, then we're screwed. So what we're gonna do now is get this camera and put this camera inside there and see if we can just see the quality of the pipe and see if there's anything wrong there, but before that I'm just taping around because if I clean this rust it's gonna end up on the deck and if it if end up on the deck that's gonna be a problem also so just trying to keep the deck as clean as possible by the way this was a mistake we should have done that before we did the deck but we never saw a leak on the windlass so we decided not to take off the windlass and that proved to be a mistake we should have done this would be much easier without well, Sometimes you do mistakes, you know? Living and learning. Living and learning. It seems that we found the problem. We think, but we need to open the ceiling inside of the boat to make sure. We think there is a pipe there that's not metal. Yeah, I think it's like just a hose. There is like a pipe and then a hose and then another pipe that's the only explanation I found because listen to this and listen to this that doesn't sound like metal no so that means that if we need to exchange that we might need to open the ceiling the, ceiling, the entire ceiling of the rebirth we we're not gonna get sad because the wick's really good we're gonna get we're gonna solve that but it's gonna take a while because first we want to treat this rust piece because this is it's really strong metal it's just superficial rust but if we, we leave this treat. rust yeah it's gonna spread all over the deck we need to treat it i don't know if you guys understood the solution that's now you can work inside the problem is that we don't want to spread rust all over, so we are going to try to use the scaler gun, and that's how it's called? Needle gun. Scaler, yeah, the needle gun, to take the rust off, but we want to do inside of this, like see if it works. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but... First time using this. Whoa. Whoa. When we bought our steel boat, our friend gave us this because he has a steel boat as well. <laughs> he owns a steel boat that in two years is gonna become 100 years old boat. 
made in Holland. So he's like, you will need this if you have a steel boat. <laughs> so we trust him. You it know. seems that it works really good. It's a phosphate scent. This is just to make sure that any rust that we left inside of any small spot is gonna be converted and rust free. That's what the fury says. Now we need to leave this for one hour? No, 20 minutes to one hour, but in this heat, 20 minutes is gonna be enough. <laughs> you can see that it's working, can't you? I don't see rust anymore already, to be honest. Let's hope for the best. Seems like it's gonna work. Yes, we were afraid when we saw that, but <laughs> now I'm positive, confident. Now we're gonna wait for this to dry and give a second coat. I'm not sure if intershoot because we ran out of intershoot, but we have other kind of paints that we can use. <laughs> See you guys later. That's it. Now we just need to wait for this to dry. Sorry for the noise. And then we're gonna finally install the windlass back <laughs> and hopefully we have no leaks that's good let's try to solve this mystery <laughs> so we believe I don't know if you understood but we this is the tunnel the pipe that connects the windlass to the chain locker to the anchor locker there is a pipe inside of here or a hose we are not sure at first we thought it was a pipe but seems like we put the camera inside and by the camera we cannot really tell but we believe it's a hose but that means that we might need to uh, unassemble this whole thing and maybe even this and to take off this we might need to take off it's just like you know like a, when you have like a domino one in front of the other and you just let one go and it something like that but let's start or a, a crab bucket a what? a crab bucket and you oh you get one come out there yeah. yeah the weird thing is that here it might be needles and not screws. There is only two screws here, or there is nothing here. Fingers crossed. We won't need to unassemble the whole thing. There is actually nothing there. Yay! Oh, that's great because now we can, instead of taking this off, we just hopefully. <laughs> ah. I'm not sure. We need to take this Coming off. <sighs> yep. Super. As we suspect. Yeah. It's a huge pipe. And we need to exchange this one. At least we found the leaking. That's we think we found good. the leak. Yeah, let's leave this open. Here. And the screws. Win. Kind of win. <laughs> I'm gonna leave the screws inside of here. Okay? Yeah. And I'll leave this out inside and then we know where. You know where it is. If we forget, you can tell us.
not sure if that's the right way to do it, but as it had Sika Flex, we're gonna try to keep the same because it was there for 20 years and didn't leak just now that it started leaking. I we'll see. If it goes wrong, we take it, the whole thing off and we do it again. But I'm it's pretty gonna sure. be on our checklist. Yeah. We're just gonna keep an eye on this and see what happens. But I think after we tie this up, it's not gonna go anywhere. I think it's gonna work. Hope so. We changed the material of this. It used to be plastic. We are using this rubber now. Yeah. This is much stronger, I believe. Should I go down first or up first? I think up first. Actually, there is gonna be hard. I want to go down first. Why you? Why you wear? I don't know. Just to ask. <coughs> don't need to look pretty, just the water cannot come out. So the anchor locker is back here and the chain goes through inside this hose and we strongly believe that's the leak because there is even the tray of the leak right here and even if it wasn't the leak the hose was really in a bad shape yeah. so it was time to exchange and now we are putting this new one in place just to guarantee we won't have leaks anymore for a while. And why two rings? Just to make sure if one fails, we have the second one. And if we want to exchange, we just exchange one and then the other one. The idea is once we finish the refitting, we are going to have a checklist. So once in a while, we are going to check for some things and we are going to change some things. And this, this is one of those. I think so. Yay! One more thing. Check. Yeah. <laughs> now we need to install the windlass. We need to paint. We need to install the windlass. Uh -huh. We painted already. Uh -huh. We're going to paint now, but we painted already. <laughs> She's too honest. <laughs> it's just to make sense the entire script, you know? <laughs> yeah, we have one one coat of polyurethane on the deck, and then we can install the windlass. Now it's true. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> Not skipping steps. <laughs> Good job. I think we can go. So, time for the truth. Let's see if the water is gonna drip inside of the boat or not. Let's hope it didn't get wet inside, but let's go there and check. So, how did it go? No leaking. No leak at all? Good job. Yeah. That's when the cameras meet, it, meet each other. So now that we have no leak, what we, what do we need to do? To install the windlass. Yeah, so now let's install the windlass back. Whoa, weird. Look at this. No, it's just a rubber. It's just... It looks like a paper. And it's in a terrible condition. Ooh, that's grease. Now we're screwed. And now, what, what to, to do? do? We need to ask the, how we call in Brazil, the... Expert. Expert, not experts, the guys that are at university. <laughs> 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 yeah, we'll see. Let us think a little bit and we're gonna decide what to do with this. That's a good question. some cleaning yeah that's pretty good actually we <laughs> I like it I mean a lot of people are gonna say that we should exchange this grease let's do some just so you see I think we're gonna leave this for now the thing is we realize that it's really easy to take this windlass up off the deck 
that means it's working really really well we used it already for uh, even to lift the center board up and it's working perfectly so we're gonna leave as it is because we are afraid that if we open now we might break spacers and things that we don't need to do it right now that means we're gonna leave like this and in the future if we feel like we need to take off the grease and apply new grease we're gonna do that in the future for now that's how it's gonna stay because we strongly believe that I, I, I've been saying strongly believe too much <laughs> yeah. we really believe that the grease is good enough and we cut a new gasket because the old one was just really really old and now we just need to put the gasket and this plate and, and before screw back in place before the gasket was like a paper paper good yeah i think this is gonna work it's nitro nitro right? yeah this is <laughs> the same one we use for the disc i mean that we are gonna use or we used already oh we didn't show you yet <laughs> we I, we didn't even close yet but we cut already the same kind of gasket for the diesel tank so this gasket is supposedly strong enough to hold grease and diesel and yeah. ga gas and whatever gasoline. So let's do this. Put this like this. This won't leak with time in our freshly paint deck. Are you ready? Time to take this beast up the deck and see in place, right? That's good. That's pretty heavy. <laughs> but at least we have a windlass. It's better than lifting the anchor by hand. I mean, that's <laughs> almost by hand. It's like, it's not an electrical windlass. And before you guys say we need to change that, we want to have the experience of having the non-electrical one before we do any big change. Maybe in a year, when we get tired of using our hands to do that. But and here in Brazil, we don't have the one that we won't need to cut the deck. Yeah, so because usually the motor goes underneath the deck and we don't want to cut the deck. We want one with the, the motor, electric motor on the top of the deck. And we never found one here in Brazil, so maybe in the future, but not now. <laughs> With a little bit of work, but we can do it. Yeah, now we need to get tape, masking tape around. That's it? Isn't that perfect? No. <laughs> yeah, I mean like, of course, we have some black spots here, yeah. there, and a, a few imperfections, but, you know, sometimes things are not 100% perfect in one side, but they are in another one. Yeah. What's it's, perfect? It's not leaking. It's that's, pretty good. That's all we wanted. We didn't want something <laughs> leaking, and we wanted a windlass that works. And for that, we are good. <laughs> but, of course, looks some places are like dirt because what i don't know if you understood but we use the old plate there is a plate in between the deck and the windlass 
and we decide to use the old one instead of exchanging for a new one. Why that? Yeah, it's just to isolate uh, aluminum from uh, this steel. From the steel of the boat. Nowadays, sometimes you buy new material that is not as good as they used to make 30 years ago. Yeah. And the material of this plate is so good. Of course, the outside looks cracked and you know, you know but it's just the outside. Yeah. The inside part is still really strong. And we are afraid that if we buy a new one, it's gonna be a really ex expensive and it won't be as good as this one. So why not use this one? The only bad part is that it looks yeah. old, but we don't care if it <laughs> actually works as it's supposed to. <laughs> it, I mean, it's fine. The main purpose, as we said already, is just to make sure we have no water inside. Yeah. Because if there is water stuck inside in between the plate and the windlass, we are gonna have corrosion as we had already because there was water. Of course, with time, the seal needs to be redone, and that's what we did. We redone the seal. I think that's really good. Yeah. But I think now that I'm already clean, I mean, that's <laughs> clean, sort of it's clean. time to get my new sunglasses because this one is getting really old, and I just got a brand new one. In a sec. I'm using mine this week already because I'm not working with super flex. That much. That much. Then, that's pretty good, eh? Yeah. <laughs> this is made out of. Uh, titanium? No, not ah, just titanium, aerospace. that's aerospatial titanium. <laughs> and you can even open bottles. Not that I drink beer, but I can open for friends no, now. When I go to a barbecue, I'll be like, I, I, I'm the one that opened bottles. No, we can open the, the coconut can. The yeah. Coconut By the way, thanks so much, William Pender, that gave these sunglasses to us. And actually, an extra, an extra one. one. <laughs> what are we gonna do with this extra one? And we are gonna give it to our patrons. So if you are our one of our patrons, and if you want to have one but because we don't want to give it for someone that won't use so if you really want to use this with these bluish lenses yeah and if you <laughs> want to open bottles with your sunglasses that's really cool so yeah. the just let us know is, yeah so the rule is if you are one of our patrons or yeah. apoyadores from brazil yeah and if you want to have these glasses just leave a comment on the YouTube or anywhere, just email just let us know. You can send us an email, you can send through Patreon, blog post, or wh wherever you want to contact us, you know where to find us. You Be have a week, yeah, a week. By the end of the week, we are gonna raffle this to one of our patrons because we don't want to give, as you said, to someone that already has a sunglasses and that's not gonna use. We want to give to someone that actually has old sunglasses and need a new one, and so this way, I think it's gonna be easier. Yeah who is gonna be the lucky one. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> save for you until then. And by the time we know who is the winner, we're gonna send this. Now we have a really cool video to show you. Oh, that's a special one. Talk about patrons. Yeah. <laughs> João, you know João already? Yeah, João is our really good friend, patron, and the guy that gave us this boat. You know this already. He is the one that introduced us to, to the, the friend of the owner, former owner of this boat. He sent us a video last week. A cool one. A really, really special one. He actually, did one of his dreams he went to antarctica by sailboat so he went with a i think like 70 foot sailboat maybe so he went to antarctica and he shot a really short video but at least odd our boat never been to antarctica but at least in thoughts it was on antarctica so check this out e aí duca fala roberta tudo bem um abraço para vocês aqui da antarctica um dia o odd vai estar aqui quem sabe preparar um pouquinho ele botar um aquecedor e dá pra gente vir pra cá, viu? É um lugar magnífico. Vale a pena conhecer uma vez na vida. Um grande abraço pra vocês. Isn't that cool? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so as we were talking about patrons. Let's welcome on board our new patrons. So, welcome on board. Bruce. Adrian. Ian. Edward. Jim. Keep. Brian. Justin. Dallas. And we also want to thank the donations from our PayPal. Thanks a lot, Leonardo. So, I guess we see you guys. Next week. See you guys next Monday. <laughs>